mast so that I can cut a stencil. And then sandblast it. Create different textures. So how do you sandblast it? Do you like cover with like wax or something? Or? No, I'll cover, I'll cover the glass with uh, a, ma a thick rubber masking material. And then um, like this area here, this area here, after it's, it'll all be etched. And after it's etched, you won't be able to pick up the details. No. No. But after this is etched, the, um, I'll paint a glue on it. And the glue dries really, really hard and it curls up like mud on a construction site. And it takes, it physically takes the glass away. It like breaks it away in these flat oysters. So in the studio, it'll be like ping, ping, ping. And it's like glass popcorn, but you wouldn't want to eat it. <laughs> and then this area, this is, um, this is a, a liquid mask that'll be brushed on and, and when I sandblast it it'll it'll sort of deteriorate slowly and, and it'll give us give me this striated texture. These are holes for connecting it to the structure. And then these areas these areas here will be a solid etching. I think. I might change that. <laughs> I like that part. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is um, this is all, so this is like all transparent. These are the, um, this, the front, the front center panel is pretty much the same thing. And then the back panel is a little bit, um, well this is the back panel. The front panel is simplified, but the same design. But then there's, the, I have the end panel, the other panels too. Um, 